up YouTube is Call for your Prodigy back in the video and today we are going to be doing a domination upgrade video it's basically where we upgrade our team we first enter the domination event which we already did um, prior to making this video and then we go ahead about upgrading our team we already made some upgrades because I wanted to play through season so we can do another upgrade that we are going to end up doing right now so basically we started off at 84 93 power and then we went ahead and we claimed the uh, Stephen Curry. You got to see all this stuff on screen because I did this off camera. We claimed the uh, Stephen Curry because we uh, got him in the sets, I believe. For, yeah, we got him in the sets. And then we claimed the Hakeem and we claimed the Joel B, which we got all those players from the, uh, um, what's the name, past events. Um, for, for, I believe it was like Joel B was from the same event. And the Hakeem, I'm not sure what uh, theme the Hakeem was from. But we ended up doing all that. And if you guys saw yesterday's video, I guess we kind of spoiled it. Um, you guys are going to see it in a couple of seconds regardless. But if you guys saw yesterday's video, we ended up doing a Superstar Spinner Pack opening, which we ended up getting some pink diamonds from there. And which is basically just pure shooting guards. The highest card we got was just Michael Jordan. And that is the, so yeah, that would be the highest card that we can actually throw into our team currently. And then we went ahead also, I should have recorded this, but in hindsight, I should have recorded this. But we ended up um, upgrading Stephen Curry off camera because, um, just because. Uh, I want to get this duo uh, points higher with this thing up here. And I feel like that was probably the best upgrade to do for that. And then we also end up upgrading. Um, we use a lot of our diamond cards to throw into this Michael Red. So now he's level four, and he also has the prime player ability. I also did this because I want to have a prime player ability on my team. But uh, Michael Jordan's power is apparently way too high. So if I want Michael Red to be around the power of the Michael Jordan, we've got the two Michaels. Um, if I want his power to be around the power of the Michael Jordan, I have to upgrade the um, Michael Red to level four which is why we end up doing that and why he's like the only level four diamond card we have on our entire account but uh yeah basically what we end up doing also we end up playing through seasons um after i played through a couple of them and then we just jumped through them because you guys saw if you guys saw yesterday's video um we had like two hours left for uh, the courtside pass so we had to uh hurry up and finish that and then um so we can end up actually completing the courtside pass so we can end up getting this zion williamson which is pretty important to our king so you guys can see we have like no power forwards um, for the, uh, what's the name? For the, uh, for our any, what am I saying? We don't have really any power forts in general that are like his power. So he's going to be a huge upgrade to our team. Let me go ahead and remove this thing from this Chris Weber. Um, but yeah, he's going to be a huge upgrade to our team. Also, we also crafted this Dirk and Whiskey off camera because we, uh, upgraded our Giannis away once we had went ahead and upgraded his other cards. But now we have Zion, which is pretty dope. Um, we're also going like, to claim this quartz I don't, I don't really care what we get from this. Can we even get anything good? What was the possibilities to get from that? Let's go over here. Um, we could have gotten a diamond. Wow. I didn't realize we could get it like a high diamond. You have 1%. All right. That's not bad. 1% chance to get a diamond. But well, it's from, like, I guess it's a free tier. So yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and lock in that Zion before we forget. Uh, I think we have like a player from like every single thing, right? From uh court side. Uh, yeah. Cause we have like a point guard. We do not have a point guard. That's actually the only one we're missing. Sheesh. All right. Um, we apparently never got that Luca because, you know, I wasn't playing this game at the time Luke came out, but, um, we have the shooting guards come on for a power percent, which kind of is good for themes like this. I don't know why they do themes like this where they have the ability, which doesn't really change because they did this before. Um, if we go over to the, um, field throughout point guards and shooting guards, if we go over before to when they did this, um, they did like ankle breakers theme and they had like, uh, players that like didn't, uh, have give boosts for the other events. Um, where is this theme at? All decades champions. Was it? Yeah, it was ankle breakers theme. Um, and like these players aren't really used to after the theme. Like they never change the ability. I wish they would. Change the ability, um, post event, like maybe get, give like a theme loyalty ability for them after the event, cause like that's not useful. Um, to be honest, this, this ability right here is about to be useful for like two weeks, and it's not about to be useful anymore, which kind of sucks. And it's really about to be useful for like one week, because you're not about to get the cards from like the second week until you're already like towards the end of the second week, so yeah, uh, unfortunate, uh, case release. Hopefully they end up doing something about these abilities in the future next time they release one of these, because they seem to release it. If they release that, uh, other, I feel like we're getting kind of scratch out here, but we I gotta figure something out now. Did they release Ankle Breakers as one of the first Onyx themes? Yeah. No. Well, no. Yeah. Alright, uh, so yeah. Anyways, uh, we didn't claim that Zion. I believe we now have enough power. Go to Autofield. We're at 12, 80, 4, 8, 4, 5 now. We now have enough power to actually get into this event get pink diamond as our top award now we need to focus on building out our uh second and third teams um we go ahead and throw actually that was we have a pelican so we can throw inside all right hold on let me go ahead and get this pelican shoe right quick and we'll throw that onto zion um where is that shoe at brand ingram um has the shoe brand ingram is actually pretty fun to play with head to head to head and stuff like that but um we are taking your shoe away from you and then we're putting that shoe onto the zion which is going to boost his defending which he's garbage at and his layup dunks which i mean He's not that fast in the second row. I don't know when he's about to get those layup dunks off. And his playmaking, I guess, is going to make him 
be a better ball handler, and then we will boost something else. I don't know. We're going to, I guess we'll boost this. No. I don't know. We'll figure out what else to boost for him. But, uh, yeah, we are now at the power to enter the uh, domination event. Also, we are going to do in this section, um, I need to we need to train up this uh, Michael Red. So we're also going to do that as well. We're going to use these, some of these, actually. Um, we're going to get him up to, like, about, like, level 60 uh, because he is, like, because he's kind of, like, uh, he needs to, I want to have him have a high prime player. I want to also eventually balance the uh, prime player, this Joel Embiid, with him as well. Or jo either Joel Embiid or the Akeem. Um, Hakeem is, like, on one of the other teams. But I want to hopefully at some point in the future balance out their prime players. But we do need to, uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this, or we're going to go ahead and train up this Michael Red to about, I believe it's, like, 18k power we need him at. Um, because the, you know, we need him, like, 18800, or we need him at, because the point is to have, like, a mentor. If I got to throw a mentor on him, then he's still high enough to um, play in the event. So we need to have him at like 18k. So I'm going to go ahead and train him up to 18k and I'll be right back. We are back. Um, as you can see, we need to hit upgrade him. Even though it doesn't really matter, he's gonna, he was going to be our second highest king guard regardless. So I guess technically for highest power, say that doesn't really matter. But it does help us build multiple domination lineups. We actually need to change this shoe. Why are we using this shoe? Uh, I'm going to figure out some other shoe for him later. But uh, yeah, he's boosting like his mid range. He's maxing out his mid range. It's like an unnecessary boost going into his mid range. It doesn't need to be there. Um, we'll boost, we'll give him this shoe for now, because that's kind of bothering me, but, uh, yeah, um, max team, first team that's 2,719, I guess the highest team we possibly can have is, okay, well, he actually has a mentor on him, so he's currently, well, whoever Michael Jordan be with the mentor's own, we will be the highest team. Uh, next, we have this team over here, it's at 10,918, we're trying to build at least three teams, so, um, that is the next goal, uh, our highest power before this video, I forgot, I forget what it was, but it definitely was higher than this. Um, I believe it was like 84, or it was at 84.93, which, how? I don't understand. How is it at 84? Oh, because we got the penny, duh. All right, so we got the penny hard away, and now he's here at like 14k power, boosting the power up a lot. All right, so uh, we can actually train this penny hard away up all the way, because um, he needs to get up to like level 3, at least, to get up to Michael Jordan's level. Actually, do we really want to do that? Because we need to, we'll do that a little bit later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... I guess that's the highest thing that we're going to have for this team. We'll train up these uh, other cards. I think this game is going to crash because every single time. Also, a tip, if you guys are not already doing this, it's personally what I'm doing um, to get to deal with this 500 card limit because it's still a big problem. Basically, what I've been doing is I've been um, getting rid of all these um, foundation cards, like duplicate like event cards that we have. Like, for example, we have, I guess I can't really show it with that kitty. For example, um, we, where's that Devin Bookrat? Let's go ahead and filter out the uh, shooting guard Devin Booker. I know he's, um, we have a level 2 more. All right, so this Devin Booker, we have one of the Devin Bookers locked in because I don't ever plan on getting rid of him. We have another one of the Devin Bookers that, uh, since they're duplicates, I don't need the other one. So we went ahead and trained him up, which is how I'm going to deal with the 500 card limit. And then once it's time to finally make upgrades, you need to throw those cards into your player. So for example, these, if we go over to go ahead, what you're going to do anyways, we're going to train to Joel and beat. You have a bunch of, like, level 10. Like, this level 10, Nicole Jokic gets him all the way up. It's like a level 10 Ruby card. Gets him all the way up. This level 1, Danny Green, gets only gets him up to level 6. It's a way to um, deal with the 500 card limit and still be able to make upgrades in the future, which is basically what I do. I feel like a lot, this is a pretty common thing at this point. But if you guys did not know, I guess now you know. Um, we're going to go ahead and train up that Joel B right there, though. And then we'll also train up this Zion to his max level 1. I don't know when we're actually going to be able to upgrade these cards because we don't... I guess Diamond should be more common my place like head to head and like seasons and the draft war. I guess it's the Australian draft war too and stuff like that. But um we will go ahead and train up these cards. Um we had this Hakeem over here, so we'll go ahead and do the same thing. And then he's going to be at eleven point six K. Is there anything we could do? Um what I'm gonna do is go ahead and build out these other teams. Um we have Clyde over here. We can also train to his um max level one. We'll go ahead you actually he's level Okay, so this one's level 10. All right, well, you go ahead and use that one. But um, I will be right back. We're going to go ahead and train up some of these other players. So I'm going to max out this Curry right here. Actually, we could do this right now. Uh, we'll use this car right here, and then we'll use some other cars we end up using training for. So we have, like, level 16 over here. The reason why they're level 16 is I want to upgrade them because we got duplicate level 10s, which combined for a level 16. Also, I want to get John Collins with that max out, or with that 5, not, not to say max out, with that 5 and 3-point shot. But you can see... All these Amethyst cards that we just have over here, this level 10, so we obviously don't have to use these Amethyst cards anymore. Let me get, I'm pretty sure I have a Paul George locking, but just in case I don't, we're going to uh, not use one of those. But we're going to go ahead and max out this Curry at his current level. Do we want to do that? Because it's going to get rid of a lot of our cards. Uh, I don't know where about to. All right, what I'm going to do, 
is what I said I was going to do. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the um this players like this, like this Onyx LeBron right here, this Onyx Giannis, because they're apparently going to be on our lineup as well. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade those so you can build higher second and third teams so domination is a lot easier to complete with you. I will be right back once we finish up with that. All right, so we're back. I completely forgot that I was recording this video. So we went ahead and like started like setting up like a head to headline. This is actually my head to headline right here. Um, we got this uh, Dennis Johnson. Dennis Johnson is really nice. He throws like the right boots on him and stuff like that. Same thing with this uh, Josh Smith. But what we are doing is um, we are going over the team. Um, we went ahead and upgraded the players. So uh, we didn't really do anything this team. Um, for, so for this team, we went ahead and brought LeBron up. Let's go over to the collection. It's a lot easier to see in the collection. But our goal was for what we were doing. So small fours. Basically, it's, this is a small first situation. I kind of upgrade these dudes too high, accidentally, but it is what it is. Um, we got LeBron, we got KD, we got Chris Mellon, we got Clyde Drexler. We can also get uh, either, what's his name, Dami Wilkins or Larry Bird in there if we really want to. So I don't really want either of those players in there at the moment. We got Clyde. I feel like Clyde is just like a better version of Dominic Wilkins in this game. And then Larry Bird. Um, we got KD. I don't really know about Larry Bird. Um, Larry Bird, like, he's good on defense and stuff like that. He's like a good spot-up shooter, but like he has like no ball handling. So I don't really know. Um, maybe I'll throw him as like that head to head line we were just talking about. I'm about to play some head to head games, so um, he will be, I guess, a good player to try out for that. But basically, what we try to do with this mom for is we upgrade his KD to level 5, actually, which is kind of high considering the, uh, his uh, power. Or is considering um, there's like a diamond KD right there and stuff like that that we just completely missed out. Also, we would have had that Kawhi. We like this Kawhi's Carter. But moving on. Um, also, what we end up doing for the power forwards, um, we upgrade this Giannis to level 3. He's still not high enough to get to Zion Williamson's power, which is completely fine because. I don't plan on this Giannis being here for that much longer because we have like, yeah, we have like diamond power forwards in this event. Is AD in the events or is he just in the, uh, what's the name? In the packs. I don't actually know because I did not check the event wars before making this video. But, um, I know we got Porzingis, um, in one of the events. Is he might, he might be in this event. I saw him in this far as the Moon Bones. I know the diamonds. Why do I know the diamonds for the events? But I don't know the, um, actually, it's going to be the, him and the Moon Bowl. So he can't possibly be in it. So, I guess we won't get the name. Um, I guess we'll have the uh, power for our power for be this. Uh, what's the name? This Chris Porzingis for the time being. Even though I really do not want him to be my power for um, rebounding and defending for that power for is kind of bad. Um, hopefully we managed to pull some decent uh pink diamonds because we are able to play through pink diamond seasons now. As you guys can see the pink diamond collection. We currently have two, right? Yeah, we have two of the pink. Diamonds. We have the highest one. We have one towards the bottom, but um, we have two of the pink diamonds. I really like this card art for this Akeem. I don't know. Um, but yeah. We have two of these Pink Diamond players. We might do another Superstar Spinner Pack opening tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. I really want to do John Collins. I don't think he's in seasons. And he's like he's like a decent rebounding, decent agility. Anyways, we are going over. Uh, let me stop getting sidetracked. Um, we didn't really do anything to the centers either. So the other teams, um, I said that we started, I believe we started off at 89.50 is what I said in the beginning of this. I don't know if that's exactly what we started off. But this is the other teams. Um, first team. Up to 13k with like a 13 with like a nearly 2k power bonus. Second team is at 11,284. We don't have any mentors on them. I don't think we have any mentors on anybody yet. Actually, actually we do have. We have mentors on some players. Okay, I'm gonna throw the highest mentors on these players. I might keep this mentor on the Zion. I might keep put this mentor on the Zion for the game and then take it off for like you know the um while it's holding the arena because I'm pretty sure that still counts. But I'm gonna throw mentors on all these players. And I'll be right back. So we're back after applying mentors to everybody. So now these other teams. First team. 13.1k power. They're obviously getting that 1,000 um, power boost. Um, if you guys are wondering why we didn't put MJ on this team instead, it's because I feel like this team we are kind of upgraded a, a lot higher than what necessary for like a, like say like for like a 30 in domination. So this team should be fine. We're just having like one player or was having a a high power, but it's just having a having Michael Jordan on this team, on this team instead. And then this that would boost the more power for our second team in the domination. If you guys are wondering why we end up doing that, honestly. What I might end up doing is I might throw Penny Hardaway onto this team and throw Michael Red over here since uh, Michael Red's higher and like this team because I'm only going to be going for actually that's what we're going to do. This is going to be our domination sniper instead. We're going to uh, throw Penny Hardaway over here instead. We're going to switch those mentors out as well, and we're going to throw Michael Red over here. So this is going to be our domination sniper instead. So first lineup is 12.7k, second lineup is 11.8k, third lineup is 11.1k. So it's more like a balance. Um, considering we start off at 8.9, this only works so we start off at 8.9k which is like a 2k power upgrade that we end up doing in this video. But uh, yeah, our overall power, max team power is 13,359, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, that's basically going to be the end of the video. I'm going to go ahead and continue playing these seasons because we do need to, I want to get up to these pink diamond seasons. But yeah, that's basically going to be the end of the video. If you guys didn't feel, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and peace. Also, let me know down in the comments if you guys end up doing any upgrades for the domination video. It does start in 18. What is on my screen? Why did that just show up? Did we get a new course I pass actually? 
It said, what? Really, bro? I thought, it says refreshes in, I guess it's going to change. I guess tomorrow we'll get a new courtside pass. We'll see the players with that courtside pass. But yeah, it's basically going to be the end of the video. I didn't realize they changed the time when they reset the game to 5 o'clock. I guess that's what that is because the courtside pass. But yeah, it's basically going to be the end of the video. Kind of going on too long. If you guys didn't, drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. And peace out. All right, so as you can see, as I said, we balanced two prime players, which is kind of crazy. Um, I guess you guys don't know that we got these cards, but this is like part of the uh, Super Wars Prime Pack opening that we did. We got this, um, we got a Kobe, and then we got another one, and then I was kind of mad because we kind of used the wrong upgrades because we got a Kobe, and then we got another one, and then we already upgraded like our diamonds because I was expecting just, I was just opening it for like another level two diamond card, but we ended up getting like the Kobe, and he was like level one. I was like, you know, we cannot spin off of this because it's just easy to upgrade, duplicate. But anyways, we got a Kobe Bryant card. He's at level four now. We got a Joel and B card. We actually got him from the Superstar Spinner Pack opening, and he's now at level four. And now we have two um, prime players balanced. I don't know if we'll be able to get a third one because that would have to be from the power four position. Also, we got John Con, which I'm a big fan of. Like John Con's in head to head, his release is like really nice and stuff. But um. We also got John Collins. We have another one. Actually, I will click swap, but then you guys will see all the players that we'll go over in the next video. But, um, yeah, we got the Curry. We got the Kobe. We got the Chris. Chris Mullen is garbage, by the way. Do not, if you have to, like, do not, um, get Chris Mullen. You guys just saw one of the smart boards. Yeah, I guess we got him from seasons, from semi seasons, but Chris Mullen is doo doo. I don't know, like, what's with this dude, but he's doo doo. Like, Chris Mullen, like, he's so bad. Like, I don't understand how he could be this bad, but yeah. Um, we got the Curry, we got the Kobe, we got the John Collins, I'm a big fan of him, we got the Joel B, which I'm also a big fan of, I didn't realize, I thought like he's been better, they made him better since I last played this game, but yeah, that's basically gonna be the end of this video, um, I guess this is a successful video at the end of the day, because we did end up getting top war and domination, I'm gonna go ahead and start playing through seasons again, uh, we've been simming this whole time, and, uh, we're gonna start playing seasons again, as uh, you can see we're at 16.4k power, which we'll go over, our, as far as like our whole team in the next video, is a our balance it says as I said before, but yeah, so it's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys didn't feel drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and peace out.